रिकॉर्डिंग को ध्यान मत दो आपको पापा लाइव आ गया मेरे पास हां लेकिन फिर रिकॉर्डिंग तो YouTube से निकाल दूंगा मैं हां ठीक है ओके हाय हाय एवरीवन हेलो गुड इवनिंग हाउ आर यू ऑल डूइंग हाउ इज एवरीवन डूइंग am i audible am i visible have you guys joined <laughs> ji sir <laughs> to youtube se nikal lenge sir thank you <laughs> hello If students have joined, they can just give me a thumbs up. I'll just wait for thirty more seconds and I'll start. Sir, ortho ke pehle aati hai behoshi normally, lekin aaj ortho ke baad aari hai behoshi. Nahi to pehle behoshi laga ke ham to nikal lete hain. Yes, perfect. So I am very happy. If you want to describe me as an emoji today, I am like this. And uh, it was a great paper from anesthesia perspective. Total number of questions asked four. Total number of questions that we discussed in the class four. Total number of questions that I predicted that are going to come four. And total number of questions that could have marked four. Okay. so i'm going to not take too much of your time everything is from our notes and uh, so you guys uh, already know everything about it so uh, basically everybody must have done every question correct there was no confusion no doubt no controversy nothing just like how anesthesia should be first question was identify a second generation subcortical airway it was not exactly like this it was like which of the following is the correct statement and then there were statements and one of the statement was that proceal is a second generation lma but i could not get all the uh, options okay so you are saying ambu bag and flexible okay ambu bag uh, ambu lma very good and flexible lma okay so fast track ki classic ki jagah flexible lma hai wonderful doesn't matter because it is pro seal we have discussed this many times whenever they ask you the type of lma then you always look at the number of tubes if your lma has one tube it is lma classic and if your lma has two tubes then it is a second generation lma and whenever there is a second generation lma there are only three options that we study pro seal supreme and igel isn't it and you know how to identify them pro seal doesn't have a shape supreme is anatomical shape and igel has no cuff so the option was pro c the option was pro c okay yes intubating lma is not a second generation lma every time i teach you intubating lma i always make you write it's a special lma which is used for intubation therefore it is not classified as first generation second generation all right theek hai next question which of the following is used for fast reversal of rocuronium and i personally take credit for this question last year after september i predicted this question every single time i came to teach you guys the reason was rocuronium got its first uh, sorry sugamadex got its approval in india for the first time after it was being introduced uh for the first time after it was being introduced in 1993 in india and so it is now available in almost every ot all around india and therefore i told you whenever something like this happens they always make a question out of it especially you can't uh, get skipped from aims because aims is where everything reaches first and now their hods their hous their department professors they are using sugamadex every day and sugamadex is a specific antagonist of rock and vec 
it's a specific antagonist of rock and vec it's a specific antagonist of rock and vec yes i don't know today what is happening with this youtube are you guys able to see because my streaming is getting stopped am i still live i can't see myself just a second are you guys able to see me hear me i'm really sorry i can't see myself at all no now my audio must be there is audio there i don't know but why i can't see myself yeah okay perfect so now my audio must be there yeah 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 sorry 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 now i'm here everything good perfect right so neostig mean was also in the option but the question specifically mentioned fast reversal the question specifically mentioned fast reversal okay so that is the reason why the answer would be sugama dex and anyway if it is specific reversal for rock and vec it causes immediate reversal because it's a scavenger molecule immediate reversal okay okay so tom is saying that a case of sorts was given rocuronium 90 mg was given but intubation failed because of which the reversal was asked very good perfect so if if that is the situation then obviously it's a failed in a difficult airway if you have given rocuronium you can immediately reverse the airway Uh, reverts the effect of rocuronium and the patient will start breathing so that gives you margin of safety okay okay glyco was also one of the options glyco is used along with neostigmine to decrease muscarinic side effects isn't it did you guys feel happy when you saw the question of rocuronium now this is the third time we are getting this question same question it's a pyq proper just they changed one option this time it was asked which of the following is the component of high quality cpr rate 100 to 120 per minute depth 3 to 4 cm every two breaths for 30 compressions and allow adequate recoil and then there were options like this only a only a and b a b c and a c d so what do you think it is what do you think it is perfect so we got fourth option as well edrophonium they don't have much options to give in a question like this isn't it edrophonium thank you so much amit thank you so much thank you so much yes the correct answer was a c d rate is 100 to 120 per minute 30 is to 2 is the compression to ventilation ratio in bls and you have to allow adequate chest recoil but the depth was wrong depth that mentioned 3 to 4 cm is actually 5 to 6 cm or 2 to 2.4 inches 
2 to 2.4 inches yes okay so it's the same pyq except that they have changed this option in the last pyq the option was 5 to 6 centimeters and here it was uh, one breath every 2 to 3 seconds right so they uh, sorry 20 to 25 breaths per minute but now it has now become just a little bit of difference but i told you every time we discuss cpr that five do's and don'ts of high quality cpr okay adult was given so no confusion regarding the type of patient okay i told you many times while discussing cpr that uh, five do's and don'ts of high quality CPR is probably the most important slide in the entire CPR. And that is why we don't forget about CPR. We discuss it every single time. Thank you. Thank you so much, Logan. And finally, we have the fourth question which is which inhaled anesthetic agent for pediatric induction and this question is called as the cute question in anesthesia because we are talking about pediatric anesthesia induction and we know the correct answer is sevoflurane because it is sweet in smell and it is also one of the PYQs it has come already last time and sweet in smell and fast in onset and recovery with no side effects so even between sevo and halo you will prefer Sevoflurane. Even between sevo and halo, you will prefer sevoflurane. Right? So these were the four questions that came in anesthesia this time. I hope you enjoyed the anesthesia part. Okay, nitrous oxide was one of the options. So let's remove halothane and put nitrous oxide to avoid any confusion in this question. And I hope you enjoyed the exam. I hope this timer thing is something that you're getting used to. I'm pretty sure NEET will also give you a timed based slots because they started it in FMG as well. So why would NEET be behind? And treat INICET as a very good eye opener. Uh, you guys know INICET is less to do with the toughness of the exam, more to do with the toughness of the number of seats. So don't feel disheartened. Try to analyze your mistake, regroup, take a break tonight. Uh, half a day tomorrow and then again get back to your studies all right yes i'm very happy all four correct i don't think anybody would have uh, missed any of them they were very straightforward they all came from what we discussed and the best part was whatever we discussed is important is what came everything that we discussed that was pretty important is what came What question are you saying? Inhaled nitrous oxide is also one separate question. Can you recall that question, KK? Yeah, free flow oxygen in a pediatric patient is a pediatric topic which will be discussed by the pediatrics faculty. Yes, I'm telling you free flow oxygen question will be covered by the pediatric faculty. Don't worry. All right. So that's it from my side. Uh, get ready for the next round of uh, recalls. I wish you very, very best. And I see you soon on the other side. Bye. Good night.